So you've got Forza Horizon 5 and you are like me. You want anime on your cars. I've made a few videos now on how to do that, but they're all like really vague. So I thought, let me just make a proper video where I'm talking and I'm like, I can, you can hear what I'm saying and you can follow along because previously I didn't have a mic. I was using the Mr. Robot voice thing, which is really stupid. Here's your basic little car. All you have to do is go to the Horizon, any Horizon outpost enter the horizon outpost and then go to garage and go to design and paint so you go to apply vinyl group apply vinyl decal so here is your car very blank honda accord or akira oh it's an akira it's not a honda let's put anime on there so here you can go apply vinyl shape now here's a bunch of shapes that you can just you can you can make your own thing, whatever. But you don't want to spend hours making an anime face because that's what I do. I sit and spend hours doing that. It takes so freaking long to do that. So just go over here to curated groups. It's oh, what in the bloody hell is this? Let's say you want anime. So here you go search. You've got to make sure that this max layers is on 3000. If it's on like 50, it's not going to work. So the max layer is 3000 and the keyword one, you can set this to whatever you're looking for, but I've got it set to anime. Keyword two, uh, doesn't necessarily matter as long as some, well, the thing is if someone's put them as a character, I suppose you can look for a character, but I'm going to leave it as any, I'm going to leave description off and then let's just see what we get. If we just go for anime, let's just see what we get. So this will be just. A bunch of random anime oh god what the bloody hell is this okay I'm, I'm getting distracted okay no I'm, I'm, I'm getting very distracted uh, I'm okay okay let's just say you, you like that one so you can take this and you can put it anywhere on your car but I don't want it just anywhere I want to put it somewhere where it makes sense so let's put it there so here these are the controls so if you if so let's say you paste it on your car and you don't like how it looks. Well, obviously, because I mean you can't see it. It's just, it's like just her chin. So here, if you click A, here are your controls. So there's edit, cut, copy, paste, whatever, 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 whatever. So we're going to go edit. And now these are your controls. There's move, size, and rotate. So you can make her upside down if you're, oh, okay, that's quite disturbing. Okay. Let's put a straight move. So let's move her. Okay, first let's make her smaller so it's not so stupid looking. Okay, uh, there we go. Okay, so let's put a. She's got horns. Why has she got horns? What character is this? Uh, whatever. Let's put her. Let's just put her there. Now, when you just have just a blank anime picture, it doesn't look right on a car. So let's put her somewhere where it'll actually look quite good. So let's put her, let's just put her there, that's fine there. Now what I normally like to do, is I, I give her a shadow, because it never looks right. So let's go into these shapes, if you scroll all the way here, using the right bumper to do this. You go all the way to, okay I've gone too far, uh, where is it now? Ah, there it is. I like to use this shape. And you make the shape black, and you can move the shape. And you put this shape, you make this, make it slightly bigger. And you just cover up. Cover up, because we don't want to see her ugly face. No, I'm joking. Cover up like this. And then use your Y to stamp. And then move it around again. And stamp there. And stamp there. Now, it might it might look like I've just covered it up, but now you go over here and you use your right trigger to select them because that that selects them. If it's got that little red thing. It selects them, and then you press X to cut them, and then you go here and you can paste it behind the behind her. So now it looks like a shadow. Okay, so now there's a shadow. Now it actually looks quite good like that, because now you can actually see her. Now she stands out. Let's add some racing stripes to... for some reason. 
Let's look for some stupid racing stripe. Okay, this looks quite good. She looks like an evil creature, so let's make some evil lines. Well, in my mind, evil lines are red. So it looks like she bit the car, I suppose. So let's make them... Let's just do that. And then, you know, let's, let's put a lot of them. Let's just put a lot of them. Different sizes. Uh, uh, let's just put them all over. It might look like I'm just sticking them randomly, but there is some method to my madness here. Yeah? Let's do that. Uh, yeah, that looks right like that. Now, what you do... No, no, not that one. No, okay. Forget what I just did. The way it is there, take these ones you've just done. Select them like that. And now what you could do for a good effect, you cut them. And then you paste them with Y. And then immediately paste them again. And then you can click on what you've just pasted. Change the color. And you can make this color black. Or let's make it a darker color. And then you select them again and you can move them. And you can give them like their own shadow. So it gives them like a really cool like a 3D effect if you move them around like that so now let's just deselect all of them so you basically just hold down and and then whatever so now take what you've just done and select all of them like that then you go cut and you go behind her shadow like this which is basically all the way down because if it's all the way down it's behind whatever you put above it if that makes sense and then using Y to paste, and there we go. Now it's pasted this decal behind her. And there you go. There's some interesting, some interesting decal on the side of your car. Now if you've got an, if you can find the names of the anime, you can put the name of the anime on the side there or whatever. But I don't have time for that because I'm, I can't be bothered. So then if now let's say, so let's say you've now spent hours or in my case, a couple seconds doing this, but how do you do it on this side now? You don't want to spend. You don't want to do that all again on the other side. Ah, but there's a trick. Select all of them, and then copy them to the other side, like this. See, it says mirror. You go mirror to other side, just like that. And there we go. It's all on the other side now. But now there's a, there's a slight strange thing I've noticed with this. If you look on this side, wouldn't you say that this is now? slightly lower than this side because that that seems to happen often if you make something on the other side and you copy it to this side it's slightly higher so you can just select it all again and just position it to how you want it to look there we go but now you might be thinking okay cool so i've done this now i've done this now i want to add a name so let's add, let's just find a name. So let's make a name in some font. This might take a while. Because I want to show you something that happens a lot when you mirror something. I've, I've seen this on decals often and it irritates me that nobody's seen this. A few moments later. This will all make sense later on. You'll see, you'll see what you'll see. I'll do my same trick where I do this. I cut it, I paste it. And I paste it immediately underneath. <coughs> and I change the color of that one to red. And I move this slightly this way. There we go. Now that looks cool. Okay. So now you've now let's say let's say you put your name on the side of the car like this. And you want to now move it to the other side. So you select it and you mirror it to the other side. Just like what you've done with her face. But now you'll notice that now the lettering it's now reversed because remember you mirror you mirrored it to the other side but now it looks like crap on this side but now you just can't be bothered to move this properly and i've seen this on on lots of cars in this game where you can see which side they made and the other side was just mirrored so what you do if you've done this take no no don't select everything okay wait let's just highlight all layers and then unhighlight all those. Okay, there we go. So now, let's say you want this to make sense because you want this to now not be mirrored. So you just select your lettering and then you go here, flip horizontally. 
There we go. And now it's not actually... Now the lettering is now the right way around. And then all you have to do... No, just... There we go. Is just move it around. Just so it makes a bit more sense. There we go. And there you have it. There's your anime car. So now that's, that's like the basics. There's so many other tricks that you can do to make this a little bit more your own thing but that's your basics now what I'm going to show you now I have this one this is Ray that I made it it took me I think about seven hours to make this because it's individual triangles that you use to make this anyway let's say you want this one let's say you saw this in my video and now you want this specific one on your car so what I'm going to do is I'm going to share the group. I'm going to share the group. I'm going to set keyword one as anime, keyword two as uh, character. You, if you've made an anime group, this is exactly what you need to do. I hope. Well, you can just you can just upload whatever. I'm going to make the description me. Uh, what's her name again? Ray. Ray? Is that how I spell Ray? Oh, whatever. Okay, so. There you go. So I'm going to go share. And then now anyone can download this. So I'm going to go out. I'm going to choose the Audi. Let's say you want the... Let's say you want the exact anime that I just showed you. You want Ray. So here you go. Apply vinyl shape. You go search here. And you press search. And then I set it as anime. And I made keyword 2 as character. And... Yeah, you can go description and you can type in the name that I typed in. So, Ray. So, let's see. Let's see if I can find her. Okay. Okay, well. Okay. Um, okay, so a lot of people make Ray by the looks of it. But, uh, oh, th there's mine. Right at the end. So, there's mine there. And then we go into here. It says share code. So yeah, you enter the share code. So the share code to Ray is one three five eight seven zero oh, eight four eight. There we go. Search. So now search for her, and there it is. And then you can download it and paste it on your car, and you can do whatever you want with this. Well, not not. To, you know, to a point, you can do whatever you want. You can't necessarily change color because it's locked. It'll be locked. That's how they work. Well, I hope you found this interesting. Why does my character look so dumb in there? He does not ma- what? Okay, hang on. Before we end, why does my character look so small in this car? This- I've seen these cars. They are small cars. Look how big the car is compared to him. Why are you so small? You look like a child in this car. How does that happen? This car is not massive. That doesn't make any sense. Well, anyway, I hope I hope you enjoyed this. That's how you get the anime stuff in Forza. So, uh, go away now. <laughs>